The other day, I made myself a question: How do you make a moment dramatic? Going old school would be to cast an amazing performer. But what if you can't find one? Chances are you're going to use either slow motion, fast motion, or freeze frame, which seems to be in most films we see today. But what about combining them, fast and slow? One person that uses these techniques prominently in almost all of his films would be Wong Kar Wai. Though he is best known for his choice in music, elliptical stories, alluring mood, use of colors, and sometimes random yet evocative settings, what we are analyzing today is his obsession with speed and time in the Chungking Express. Right on the opening scene, we get the feeling that we're in Hong Kong. The overpopulation, neon lights, and the fast pace of a metropolis. The film is about two policemen, both coping with recent breakups, in two seemingly separate storylines. And that's it. Yeah, one could have easily wondered how on earth did he get this made. But this movie was genuinely fun that even Tarantino was promoting it. On the surface, the film looks nothing special. The settings are normal, average places we see every day on our way to work. However, if we pick out the most recurrent and notable technique used to dramatize moments in this film, that would be the step printing, a technique where you shoot the scene in lower frame rates, then duplicate or triplicate them and project it at a normal 24 frames per second. And because it de delivers something, a texture that feels like it's very speedy, but actually it's very slow. Okay, so the point of this effect is to make it seem as if everything is speeding up while also slowing down. The end result can yield many types of interpretation, but two things seem to communicate visually at best. One, the subject seems detached from the world around him. And two, when the subject is in slow motion, it emphasizes on the importance of that moment in particular. Often requiring his actors to perform as if they are in slow motion in order to drastically achieve this effect. For Wong, time is always perceived differently, either objectively or subjectively. The speed of the frames and the manipulation of time are what allows us to appreciate and depreciate every moment. Time seems to elongate, isolating the characters in their own worlds. This is a movie made for those people living in the frantic pace of megacities like Hong Kong or New York. Sometimes we see ourselves like his protagonists, either busying with our daily task or sitting around in our jobs daydreaming. It speaks to the loneliness and the desperate need for company, an escapism of boredom. But at the same time, it is a warning to distractions, a call for attention to things that truly matters in our lives. So even though we have a clock wherever we go, time is still quite subjective. So don't you think the way how we distribute them deserves time of its own? It's very funny to, to 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 look at because you see these two persons start drinking teas like this. 